Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will show you how I create my fashion sketches uh, or fashion illustrations using Adobe. I know that many of the brands like to work in Illustrator. For me, when it comes to fashion sketches, I do love to sketch them in Photoshop. But of course, when it comes to pattern making or being more specific, making the design look more realistic, for example, making creating a button or a zipper, etc., I do prefer to make it in um, Illustrator. Uh, also doing my flat sketches, 100% uh, much more better to work in Illustrator. But when it comes to fashion sketches as this one, I prefer Photoshop because here I can make my lines unperfect, I can make my lines blurred and etc. I can also blend the lines. In Illustrator it's more defined. First step of course is to brainstorm and I actually skipped that step uh, because I already knew that I had two fabrics to work with. I have silk, white silk fabric and I had a crochet. Crochet is like embroidered a cloth uh, that usually is on the tables and etc. But I really love the design because I wanted to create something with these two fabrics so I can wear when I'm traveling more like a vacation item. So here I knew that I wanted to cover the breast and of course the front piece. I didn't want to use crochet on the whole body. I just wanted to have a little peek of the skin. That's why I added a crochet on the side. I'm using different type of brushes um, and also I'm using different type of sizes of the brushes to create this crochet looking design. Here it's also when you are sketching uh, something on the model or as you can see here, um, it's also very important to have in mind how will I be able to create this in real life. So it's also very good to have a good knowledge in pattern making because not everything that you sketch on the design can be made in real life. So it's very important to know Okay, if I want this type of dress, then I know I need to do more like a cup design up and then, you know, I need to have bretelles if I want the dress to be to keep holding up. So it's a little bit different, you know, have in mind when you're sketching uh, design on the model to also have in mind to think of how can I create this in real life as well. So like I said here, it's a very basic dress just a plain dress with crochet on the sides. Uh, I was also wondering if I should make it longer right underneath the knees or if I should keep it short. I have not decided yet, depends on if I decide to actually go and create this design. Moving on to the second design, I wanted something with two piece and I went with creating a silky skirt and of course up top with it. Um, using the silk to cover the breasts and using a silk to make a skirt. I didn't want any lines specifically when it comes to skirt, I really wanted to make it clean but also to add the crochet. So I am here using different, different um, shades of brown just to create a little shadows. When it comes to sketching, you know, you are very free, you can do exactly how you want but be aware to know exactly where the shadows are placed on the body so it looks more realistic. For the top, I wanted to have a silky fabric to cover the nipples as well as I wanted to add a crochet on the waist because I think this is going to be a very beautiful set. I have no idea if I would like to create this but it, uh, looking at it from the pattern making perspective, I think this is much more easier to create.
my third design I was considering like I really want to have as well like a pants because usually pants people don't like to wear in summer they like to have shorts uh, it's much more breathable but I was thinking how can I make pants that are more breathable it feels like you are not wearing anything so I decided to create more like a bell um, on the lower part of the pants because I felt like it will give another illusion while you know when you are walking and I also wanted to add more uh, like more uh, lightness to it that it doesn't feel too hot wearing the pants uh, because you know the silk that I will be using is made from polyester so it's not breathable and for that I decided to cut out the pieces and apply the crochet on the sides to make it of course much more breathable and light to wear um, here I'm just playing with different shades of like light beige, brown, white colors and also I'm blending all these colors using this very good brush. I love using this brush to create different shades because like I said uh, before it's very important to know where the shades are falling on the body. You know between the legs usually it's the darker and then on the sides is as well as darker because I'm trying to create um, more light in front of the leg as you can see here I'm also cutting out pieces from the pants because I will be adding the crochet detail on this side For the top, because the pants are quite detailed, I wanted to keep it very, very uh, basic. So that's why I decided to create just a very simple white top. For my fourth design, I wanted to play with the uh, embroidered fabric, um, so I thought, okay, but if I cut the pieces and then place the pieces on the body to cover the breast cups and to cover a little bit of the stomach, so I will be able to determine where each piece will be sitting. I also thought that this might be very hard to create because um, crochet fabric is it's, um, it's not a fabric, it's something that someone has you know knitted so it might if you wash it it might like um, destroy it very quickly so it's very very sensitive um, so I was thinking I was not sure but that's what I was playing here also I wanted to add the sides of the waist the hips I wanted to add also a little bit of that the same um, embroidered fabric and I really wanted to make it sexy so that's why I added a very mini skirt using my silk fabric I think it will also look very beautiful with a longer skirt um, I think it will look more classy like this it looks very sexy but of course it depends on what type of design you are willing to create For 
my last design um, I wanted to create something that is more like elegant and I mentioned in the beginning of the video it's very important to know how to create pattern so for me I knew exactly that if I'm going to create much more deep V in the front I cannot have it low to the belly because it will be very hard to create the pattern and I didn't want to add so much time creating the pattern so I need to remake it and add the opening V opening from the neckline to the waist and no longer than that then here I was just playing with different shadows and blending different colors to create more shadow on the body and on the dress and here I already knew that the whole dress will be using only silk fabric and I also added a little crochet detail on the side and uh, it was very elegant and simple dress Those are all of the five looks. Um, I am going to consider to create one of them. I have not determined which one, but it will be super fun to create a little bit new garments for the summer vacation. Um, I also started a new Patreon, so please, if you would like to buy my patterns, you have to go to my Patreon, so I'll put the link in my description box below. And also, if you want more detail of how I create a few things, uh, please, become a member of my patreons it would mean a lot to me so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i really hope to see you in my next video so stay tuned and see you till then hey dawn